twice a day, every day, the Atlantic Ocean surges up onto the UK's continental shelf and onto our coastline. This creates one of the highest tidal ranges in the world, an untapped energy source with huge potential. Harnessing the natural power of our tidal ranges here in the UK will help transform how we generate energy and provide the catalyst for a new British engineering and construction industry. You know to the minute when power is going to be provided. This is real clean, green, baseload power. The energy provided from Lagoon can be produced for the next 120 years. As long as there is a moon, there is going to be this power available. So this is not creating a, a business, it's creating a whole, a whole ecosystem, a whole industry. Well, if you think about all the industries that uh, Wales and the UK have been famous for that have now been lost, we desperately need something to replace it. Britain's industrial north has been hit with heavy job losses. More than a thousand jobs are being cut by the Tata Steel Company. As a result of a four-year downturn in demand for steel bar products and pipelines. The steel industry has had a, a, a downturn almost at the same time as the oil and gas industries had a downturn. With the closure of Lamwern and the loss of 9,000 jobs nearly over there altogether. Subcontract firms are shutting down as well. Just pure, there isn't a lot of work about. People in the steel industry, whether it's steel making or forging or machining, they have, a, have an expertise which is very difficult to just get off the street. If we continue doing what we're doing with sending jobs across to China and to France and to Germany for high value manufacturing, then our manufacturing base will continue to decline. The strategic importance of being self-sufficient uh, it's perhaps not realised by many. The idea is to create a global industry based around Tidal Lagoon power and technology. Swansea is a pilot. Swansea is just the start. Swansea is the smallest of the lagoons. This is the beginning. This is a fantastic opportunity for the UK to become a world leader. It creates jobs. It adds to the energy security of the country. It is creating an industry that can be exported from the UK. This is a project that makes tremendous sense for all. The turbines at the heart of the tidal lagoon are bulb turbines. Well, bulb turbines have been used in the hydro industry for, for generations. They're proven and they're proven to last. So we see it as a fairly low risk venture to move from traditional hydro to tidal lagoon hydro. The Swans Bay project, the complex castings and forgings. We lay a lot of pride and a lot of investment in the people and the tools that we use to deliver the piece or the component part that we're trying to do. Our facilities are on a key site, uh, which is akin to a lot of the components we've looked to fabricate and deliver. Sustainable energy projects are going to be a key part of the sort of energy mix for us as a country going forward. At some point you actually have a situation where this power doesn't need any subsidy, eventually it becomes subsidy free. When we talked to the tier one suppliers, they were very excited and the opportunities there are potentially huge. It'll get us noticed, it'll get us out there and hopefully it'll bring, bring more work in. More jobs are created and it's also all over the country, maybe all over the world using this idea. And renewable energy gains me work for the future which will help to keep me in the industry that I love getting the volume into our factory, being able to showcase the technology, the manufacturing, the skill base that we have. It's a global industry we're talking about here, so it, it, it's critical to get it off the ground. There's a huge, huge potential for this same technology, variable speed induction, generation, and pumping mode in many, many parts of the world. There's a lot of different skills and a lot of different industry attached to the Tidal Lagoon project, and also the legacy projects behind that. So for me, I would be saying, we need to get on with this as quick as possible. This is one of those things which changes history and all that Tidal Lagoon is asking for is that to get to the larger lagoons which, are, which will drive down the price of power, that we support it to the degree that we have supported Hinkley. You know, rather than training everybody else's designs, this would be British design going forward. And this is where it's all going to happen. If we get the Tidal Lagoon project 
Then we're going to be building a workshop here which will suit our needs. It's going to create more jobs, more tourist plays, more work, and I think it's excellent. I firmly believe that this project will run. 100% believe in it. It is compelling. It'll be a good thing for Stoke-on-Trent and it'll be a good thing for the community. It's absolutely superb. It's an unbelievably good opportunity. We need this. The, the UK steel industry needs this. Um, our power, our green output, everything. And I'm delighted to be able to say that something that I'm involved in making happen will actually regenerate a large part of the South Wales industry, the South Wales coastline, and provide recreation facilities as well as power facilities for a piece of the country which is very dear to my heart. We want to build a global industry based on a supply chain that comes from Wales and the UK.